Hello, my YouTube family. It's me, Lady Dean, just putting my hair on. <laughs> anyway, so right now, uh, let's go reviewing our three shows from tonight. If you guys haven't seen tonight's episode, I would, I would, um, either you go watch it now or wait until it goes on to man. I will make sure the links will be blo put down below. It will be up there first thing tomorrow when I have this, uh, when the video goes up. So anyway, three things happen and tonight on on NCIS as what <laughs> what we thought would be that Delilah would be killed off, but instead Delilah was developing stress because of the fact was it was because of the wedding preparations, but on top of that she was ten weeks pregnant. While her her well, now husband, uh, Timothy McGee, who was working on the case with the teen to find out uh, of a of a death that was met, that was led because of drugs known as the Blue Burger. So I will get to into that. Um, Bull, ugh. I guess Jason has to deal with. Um, with a fixer who is a feminist. Ugh, that was a big mistake. Ugh. I didn't like it one bit. And then it calls us on NCIS New Orleans. A few things happened, especially Sonia got out of jail. Oh, and the board in Townsend is going down, folks. And it'll, it'll end next week. Ugh. So, anyway. So, what happened on NCIS? Well, if you guys don't know, during NCIS, as Gibson's team were working on a case of a uh, of a uh, a cook, cook on a navy ship. Yes, a uh, uh, I guess uh, I think it was a petty officer uh, was killed held because of a drug called the Blue Burger, there, which is I guess kind of considered to be known as. Molly was also was also mixture with of his blood pressure medication to lower the blood pressure. Apparently, it was spiked because he went to eat sweet potatoes that was meant for the commander who did not want to eat his eat sweet potatoes. So, the victim ate it for him, and that's when he got killed. And the reason why was in fact. Had the 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 reason why a, 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 the um commander was targeted is because one of them had convinced the confession and named Stoddy said um uh, Stoddard Stoddy or Stoddard Stoddard saying that uh, he was trying to give back at the commander for what he had done. And I did not like that one bit, especially, especially there was mentioning of hazing, and you know hazing is kind of bad. I mean, if you don't believe me, look at, uh, I dare you look up, uh, ha I dare you look it up because it's the worst. I mean, seriously. But anyway, throughout this whole entire episode of NCIS, Delilah was in fact. She had a, a, a faint spell, oh, oh, and it turns out she was not eating right, eight, and on top of that, she was 10 weeks pregnant, which apparently the NCX writers <laughs> took that episode to make it thought, you know, they're going to kill her off. Nah, it's just that Delilah had a faint spell that uh, would end up revealing that uh, she's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess McGee really done it. <laughs> and apparently he told um he and Delilah told uh their families and uh and on top of that um had to tell everybody even though Adriar blabbed that out out <laughs> when he McGee also invited everybody, including the Raptor Vance. Ugh that was kind of a clever thing that McGee did that. At <laughs> I can't believe that would happen. But yes, they had a wedding ceremony. It was very small. 
just all their friends, which is considered to be their, their second family. They, with Palmer doing the performing the wedding thing, um, having Abby as McGee's uh, best person or best woman, should say, and Giz being the man of, <laughs> man of water. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit of laughing. And of course, uh, Ducky helped helped out, giving the lot of away. And there were a lot of other things. Especially, I'm surprised Gibbs gave McGee something that he did. And it was a wit, it was a watch, watch that was given to Gibbs by his grandfather, who gave it to his father, who gave it to who Gibbs, who now gave it to McGee. And I was like, oh my god. And in the description of the watch that he had, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little bit. It says briefed him. It's because he was so nervous, so in, so wrecked up because it's because he was very, very upset. <laughs> he was worried about Delilah. When the fact is, Delilah just had a little faint spell, that's all. And of course, she is and she, of course, she is pregnant. And if he needs any advice, I mean, he is, he is more than welcome to get it from Palmer. Or, or even, well, Palmer, Vance, oh, and Gibbs, too. <laughs> anyway, I couldn't believe how that ended so well. Even though, I think there's one, yeah, but there's one more episode next week on NCI, for NCIS. And I guess this is going to be really crazy, which apparently is going to involve, I guess, both Gibbs and Nick going undercover or something. So, I don't know how, how this will go, but we'll see how this ends up. Now, um, to Bull. Oh my god, I guess this is what we suspect and how, uh, and how Bull was how I got the um situation going on with Bull. Holy smokes. This JP Nunley is a freaking feminist. And the reason why I'm saying this is she was not being charmed by Bull's uh personality and stuff, but man, she was turning everything crazy. But in the end of it all she's ended up saving Benny's Benny from being thrown in jail when she, when Benny went to go into trial. It turns out Benny was apparently in the last couple of weeks that led to this episode was that Benny got into trouble with um with the DA's office as but in fact he was framed. It turns out of this Jessup guy the who was who was associate or friends with Benny ended up trying to destroy Benny's career there there as an attorney as a lawyer there and almost critical him um from working with Jason Bull I was like you have got to be kidding me I was just so mad at not not only that it was turned out that Benny was just framed and Benny's a free man. <laughs> but yeah, I was so mad. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But still, I mean seriously, there are those who are out there, and just don't make me go into it. I, I just really want to express because I was so mad as. As I was, but I'll be fine. Pain, hopefully. Uh, I don't think. I don't think there's no. I don't know if this was the season finale or next week there is a season finale. I have to look into that. Hmm. Huh. I could do it right now. B U L L. Yep. <laughs> uh. 
I make sure if there's one more episode. Okay, no, wait, there's two more episodes. Yep, entitled Dirty Little Secrets and the Nelevant Deception. I think since next week, since both NCIS and NCIS New Orleans are wrapping up, I will talk to you guys about Bull. Even though I had to shut my mother because the way how she taught to me because I was so bad at, at what was going on. Apparently, she thinking she was trying to challenge of Jason Bull, and I'm like, please, mom, stop it. I had a, she was acting like she was acting so crazy, and it's because I had to. And the reason why I had to, the only way I had to tell her to quiet it is I had to tell her who's the, what the show was really about, and she was agnostically disturbed. <laughs> In other words. I had to tell her that the show was loosely based off of Phil McGraw, who has his own show called Dot to Phil. Oh, that is seen uh, syndicated it mostly on CBS 3 at 4 o'clock. And I had to sit tell her this because she was acting crazy and she almost like sounded like she was being like McGraw. But I had to straight for and tell her and she had to shut up. But I guess she doesn't understand the feel and the rush of it. But it happened. And then, of course, we have finally talk about NCIS New Orleans. The war against Hamilton is continuing and this won't end until next week. So what happened? Well, let's see. Sonia's out of jail. Hell, thanks to LaSalle. Oh, and then, of course, there was the protection of this congresswoman who's now finally being killed thanks to Hamilton. And because he put the red tide in her. But at the same time, Pride Aid, who, went comp- who didn't get enough sleep and almost embarrassed himself in front of the congresswoman, even though saving her from eating oysters, but couldn't save her from the drink. Um, ended up um, getting himself almost killed uh, by stone. Instead, he left his badge and gun with the guy who who was trying to kill Pride, and he took his stone. Um, so he went after stone. So in other words, he was trying to tell everybody on his team that he's still alive. And he just wanted to make sure that Pr- that Hamilton doesn't know that Pride is alive. He thinks he's dead. But here's the thing. He does not have... He's going to find out Stone is not... Is, is not Stone, he's going to find out Stone's gone missing. Thing. But I guess we're expecting in the season finale of NCIS New Orleans... Where Pride ended up, up, up getting Hamilton. And this is going to end it once and for all. I hope. So, anyway. That's much about it. Now, besides this, I'm going to just... Also, to let you guys know, I am considered to be be starting up a Patreon. And if you guys want to know why, is because I feel that... I I don't know if you guys want to support me. Now, what will happen will be is I'm just still trying to bait on that. And if I am going to go through with this, I'm going to let you guys know an upcoming vlog. Um, the reason why is because, as you guys know, I have not, I'm going to let you guys know that I have not getting a lot of money, any ads revenue from YouTube. I have no idea why, but I, until probably it's because I'm still not, probably still because I'm not nearly ad, advertiser friendly, I guess. But anyway, 
until I guess I'll still I still see it because I haven't heard from anybody saying if they've seen any advertisements but if you guys see advertisements on this please let me know oh okay I just really want to know oh because I can't check on any computers in my house or on my phones Oops. all right I mean unless I am on a different computer with a different IP maybe but I haven't been getting any, any hits, but I'm hoping like, if I gather up more than 10,000 views, views, even though I have lifetime over that because of some, vi because one of my videos that i done and well over a year ago got me 2,000 views and got me some money, but I'm still not getting paid yet. Right. But until I do, and... Depending on how, and then of course there is the reviews. Besides that, I ordered out one review will be prepared for within some time next week is a possibility. And if you guys haven't seen my vlog this week, um, just you know, letting you know. But otherwise, just please watch the whole entire video, okay? But I will be starting up a Patreon soon. I just have to make sure what kind of essentials to do. <sighs> I mean, for rewards, you know, if you have if you've ever seen the Patreon, you know, they do is they. I mean, I I see it from two YouTubers, um, Cinnamon Toast Can, with his wife, uh, Super Mary Face. I'm not sure why, but I think they're engaged still. But anyway, they have a baby, um, name uh, Layla. Uh, uh. <laughs> anyway, but they started to start uh, a Patreon, and there's and mostly their pa and right now their Patreons are really getting get getting rewards like rewards like being followed on Twitter by those two. And even though I wish I could, but, you know, I'm still working on the things. And, um, what else? I know Philip DeFranco has one going thing, mostly to help him to continue on working for his show, the Philip DeFranco show. And, you know, I'm just letting you guys know. So, I'm still going to be, I'm going to try to think, work on the, the situation, and then I'll let you guys know. But anyway, guys, I will wrap this up right now. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next time. Okay? Bye!